Oh my god. Okay, wow. So if you're new to the channel, I don't like heights. This ride is supposed to take 20 minutes, by the way. <laughs> it is beautiful. I'm already scared. <laughs> we just started from right there. <laughs> we got to the top of the chairlift. We started walking at 930. The hike gets easier. Once you get up the initial elevation, the path like really like plateaus out. I don't even know what to say guys. Like I just want to show you because it's like when we find something that's beautiful, similar to the Kirka National Park. If you didn't see that video, you can check it out. It's just so beautiful. It's like nothing I can say is going to do it justice. Even though the hike is difficult, I'm enjoying it. Spring water. It's 11 06. It's about an hour and a half from getting off the chairlift to getting to the top. One lake, two lake, three lake, four lake, five lake, six lake, seven lakes back there. Seven lakes of Rila. 100% worth it. If you guys can see it, but right over the cliff over there, there's that white building. That's where we started. We have three hours to be back down and in the bus to go to the next spot. It took us an hour and a half to go up. I'm guessing it's take longer to go down. I'm so cold now. If you got to the chairlift at 8.30, got up and then basically just hiked straight to the viewing point, you could probably have this whole place to yourself. God, I hate this. You forgot this feeling. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> okay, you have chairlift like we're on. And then cage. How do you even load that fast enough? The bus is leaving at three, it's like 2.55. And we're actually just stopped. We're gonna have to run. We're definitely gonna have to run. Left? Left, right. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 301. 301. We can do this. Uh, the white van. It's there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. 305. I'll see you at the monster. <laughs> wow. It's much bigger in person. This is the Rila Monastery in Rila, Bulgaria. I think it's one of the most famous monasteries here in Southeastern Europe. It's still an active monastery, but there's no entrance fee, but getting here is quite a schlep. This is what I'm interested in, the kitchen. I want to see a monastery kitchen. So you're not allowed to go upstairs because 
It's the residential area for the monks. Maybe no kitchen. Do the monks want tourists to come? Or is it like the government is like, hey, you should have tourists, you know, promote Bulgaria. Because to be an active monastery and you have all these people walking through like all day. So there has to be one tourist who like lives in infamy among the monks. Like they see so many tourists. They probably see so much weird stuff every day. But I want to know who is the guy they talk about. They're like, oh yeah, today was crazy, but remember Joe? Like, oh, thank God we haven't had Joe in a while. It literally has a sign saying you have to be fully covered. Don't have your phone with you. Don't have a backpack. And as we were walking in, one of the monks was praying and just allowed doing his thing. And this woman's phone, probably a Nokia, starts <laughs> going off. And she just like turns and was like, oh shit, shit, shit. And all of us were like, yikes, bro, that's a Joe move. It would be so interesting to like spend five days here. I could do a couple. Or like a weekend, I guess. Yeah. A weekend is doable. Five days. Five days is I just want to like, you have to have like a full the week. You have to have a full nice week stuff. to, like, yeah, really see, you know, how the things work. What is the day to day like? Minus like all the religious stuff, but like the food, what do they eat? Who makes it? Is there just like one guy that cooks? I have so many questions. What do they do for fun? I have so many questions. <laughs>